now that we've secured the admin account, we can look to update the Teams Rooms app to the most recent version. So to do that, we start the Microsoft Store while signed in as a local administrator. So here's the Microsoft Store, we'll give that a launch. And then we'll hit these three dots up here. And that gives us downloads and updates. So now the Microsoft Store will look through and see what is installed on this workstation, what needs to be updated. It looks like we do have an update. Now we click on Get Updates to see if there are any updates for the Windows Store apps that are installed on this Teams Rooms. After a little bit of time, we can see that Microsoft Store has found updates, and we can also see that there's a pending update for our Microsoft Teams room, which is also the former Skype room system. So the Skype room system is what we're looking for on this update, and we will soon have a new updated version of the app. The Teams Rooms app only works with certain versions of Windows, so we want to make sure we have the most recently updated app to make sure we get the most recent version of Windows and Windows updates that are supported by that app. So that's why we go ahead and collect the Skype Room System or Teams Room updates first. Now that the Teams Rooms app has been updated, we need to go and update Windows itself. We always do this after we update the Teams Rooms app to make sure that we aren't installing a version of Windows that is not supported. So we go to the Windows Update Settings inside the Settings menu, and look, it's already got a bunch of them for us to install. So all we have to do here is click Download. It'll download them in the background, and if it requires a restart, it'll ask us to restart, and we're good to go. So that's the order of updating a Teams Room system. Always the app first, and then the Windows updates.